Y'all, please do not worry about me making a video, two videos in one day. Because if you an influencer or a YouTuber or anything, you know you got to get these YouTube videos out the way. So you can just chill. Because especially if you're a college student, especially if you're a full-time college student, not just a college student, a full-time college student, you know that the weekdays is strictly for school. So that means you might have to film two three four five videos throughout the weekend so that you can just post them on the weekday without having to worry about filming the video and interrupting your schedule that you already made so i make a rant video not a rant video but like a rant video about yeah it's gonna be a rant video because my last rant video literally did so good like it blew up like i was not expecting it to get so many views like my rant video blew up like it got like now but before like like a couple of days after it was like at 200 views now it's at 300 Nah, I'm just <laughs> somebody came in not in the room but like somebody came in so yeah but that video did so good so it's like a rant about my first month of school so it's been one month since it's been one month since I've been in school and I just want to update y'all on how this one month been so yeah i know this intro been so long i've been I, intro super long so first thing we want to talk about is classes so now that it's been a month that i've been going here finding my classes has been really really easy now and i can like maintain like my time schedule and everything so like when i should get up get ready and when i should leave my dorm room and like you know to make sure that i arrive to class on time another thing about classes is that i'm making sure that i turn in the work that i will turn in the work on time turning my school work and making sure that nothing is late that i know that i'm like you know got to do and nothing i turn nothing late turning nothing late turning everything on time another thing is college is so much different than high school so when you were in high school you could you know go to one class and then go to another class like after 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 and then you like you know basically you like studying in class because you listen to the teacher and then you writing down notes and then you li listen and then you remembering and whatnot is different when you're in a college because when you're in college they give you the stuff that you need to learn and then you after after classes you have to go and then you have to study and then you have to um do all this like stuff like write down notes outside of class because when you're in class class only lasts like 45 to 50 minutes only class that's like an hour well only class that's really long like three hours long is my lab class there's a class like an hour long but that's my writing class but we don't do nothing but write in that class for real anywho but yeah you have to do basically everything on your own that's how i feel because you have to do everything on your own like literally i have to go write down everything on from the thing by myself remember it because i gotta tell i gotta you know like okay so this means that basically you know tell myself that you know what they provided for us the information they provided us for this assignment that this means that 
that I have to remember that write it all down or do however you work for study but just feel like I'm doing more work than what that what that sure is They're actually doing to actually help me learn I'm doing more work because I have to do even if the class like 45 50 minutes I have to spend two hours outside of class doing what I expected them to do for me like to me if that makes sense it's a mess honestly girl if you see a video coming up about me being a dropout I'm just playing for real this stuff ain't it but since since you know another thing that I want to talk about classes since I'm not really you know I don't really um like science like that and they was everybody telling me that if I don't like science why would you do something that you like I'm thinking about changing my major to something like what's what's it called she what she say what'd she say it has something to do um public health public women health something like that change it to that instead of being an OBG, OBGYN and also to art because I love art as well so it's gonna be public health public women health something like that at art and then okay so that's it and then another thing that I wanted to talk about with my first month here in school is um office hours meetings office hours meetings and um what was the other one practice we're gonna talk about office hours so office hours they make sure that you know the office hours make sure you know the class make sure you go and find their class and make sure that you meet up with them and um after you meet, well when you when you set up the appointment to meet up with them they want you to go over with everything about the class and maybe they want you to get to know them as well because office hours they really want you to go to office hours, even though and like i said i want to know professor office hours. i'm sorry i don't got time to meet none of you professors i'm just trying to get education and dip because songs soon as i'm done with these four years i won't remember neither one of y'all for real i'm not gonna remember y'all y'all probably gonna remember me but y'all not gonna remember neither one else ain't no ain't no point of going to your office hours unless i really need to go to your office hours but they encourage y'all to go to the office hours, which is kind of crazy because like wrong girl wrong 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 girl mm -mm wrong person you got the wrong person i'm definitely not going to none of them, even though i do need sometimes i do need to go probably go on like once or twice to the office hours but other than that not really going like every single office hours no but they encourage you to so if you in college right now or you about to go to college next year just letting you know that but different schools are different I'm just telling y'all my experience for my first month here. What else to say? Meetings. Like, in these, it is my experience. I have a lot of meetings with um the staff. Wait, is this the staff faculty? Uh, I'm going to just call them staff because I don't know what else to call them. But I got a lot of meetings with the staff. And we be talking about, like, school and learning-wise and how, you know, my class has been going. And does not might be saying what college you go to or like if whatever college you decide to go to next year um with staff or this year if you go to college this year this fall well no not this year next year yeah i was right next year spring or fall yeah anywho but what like i was saying um that they, they would like set up meetings for you because like it depends on how your college is i have so many meetings with these um oh, not teachers with these staff we talk about my classes and um how God, i'm listening at my words and how school's been going and how i'm studying and how everything is going right and then you know talking about what career i should what not career what major i should choose because i only have to worry only only 
stop stuttering only have to worry about picking out a major for uh only have to worry about picking out major second year but once this semester is over i'm gonna have to like go over my you know um options and pick out a I major. Mean, i personally think i should go over my options and pick out a major because time going by super fast and i don't want to waste no time so i think i already got a major picked out but these meetings are very crucial and if your school have like stuff like that do you meet up with people like that definitely go and definitely do it because it is very important especially to me it's very important and it's very very crucial because it's gonna help you a lot like when i first started college i'm telling you it's only been one month it's only been one month i'm doing horrible right now I ain't even gonna fake it. I'm doing horrible, but like the last couple of days, like doing all this stuff, I can see that I've been approving and proving because I'm just not starting to thrive at this school. It's a new setting, it's a lot of changes. So yeah. And it's like yeah. Um uh it, it's a lot of stuff going on, so it's a lot of stuff to adjust to and school school work tests all that you gonna need somebody to rant and talk to about so that is very helpful i think it's very helpful, very helpful because i have been improving very much another thing appointments outside of school i'll be having like doctors and stuff appointments so i have to make sure i go around you know all these skills especially my practices and everything like i gotta make sure i do all of that so that's another thing um practices my practice has been good so far but after practices girl i ain't trying to flat shot but oof i'm in pain anywho but practices has been good even though more may uh i can't even speak mainly my practice has been at night time like literally i be walking to my dorm and it's been like super duper dark outside like 10 at night like i'm like ooh, crazy crazy who wants to walk into their dorm room so late their roommate i don't even know how my roommate be feeling but she she be already sleep during that time and i think it's like crazy like dang practices is that late like late like dance practices is monday wednesday thursday so monday practice is from eight to nine wednesday practice four to five and then thursday practice six to seven Ooh. tree practice is from Monday, Monday and Tuesday from 6, no, 5.30 to 7 o'clock. Or it's 5.30, 7.30, something like that. But yeah, I got to get my physical. I go get my physical tomorrow, so I might vlog that. Actually, I might talk about that. I don't know if I will or not, but I'll get my physical tomorrow so I can start, like, practicing with the cheer team because, yeah, that's a lot of stuff. Anywho, next thing eating so if y'all don't know i went to walmart i think that's in my weekly vlog i went to walmart and i got some food and i got some snacks like, even though i already ate all my snacks i'm a fatty yeah i got some snacks and i got some food i got me some i keep saying that over and over again that's how you know i'll be stuttering in real life anywho that's what I've been eating. I still eat the cafeteria food and I still go eat, you know, other food. But now that I got my own food, I don't have to worry about if I miss cafeteria eating times. Well, yeah, eating times because I got my own food. So if I, if I miss the time, I could just, you know, get my food, microwave it, and eat it. So that's not a, that's not a problem anymore. And my hair... We gonna get that done. We gonna get that done soon. We don't know how soon that's gonna be, but we gonna try to get it done soon. Okay. And with Amazon and everything like that, once I get like money on my cord, 
I'm gonna see how it is ordered on Amazon. You know, if you don't know Amazon, Amazon takes a long time to take it money. So I'll be worried because like my money on my card and then somebody else take my money and they don't have enough money to take my card. Because these other sites, they just take money. They don't even care. They just take it. I don't like that. I don't like that. I'd be ready to sue these companies. But it is what it is. Well, mainly it'd be Apple because Apple would try to take literally the two the two cent you got on your freaking cord and not car but anywho that's so crazy i'm gonna just tell you how i've been feeling mentally and emotionally ever since i came here it's been one month since i came here i'm gonna tell y'all how i feel so mentally i have been on a rocky road mentally i don't normally talk about my mental health on youtube or to anybody ever because like it's kind of like it's a sensitive it's a sensitive topic definitely for me because all the stuff that i have been through in the past my childhood and whatnot if you meet me in real life i'm just tell you that it's been <laughs> not perfect but it's been good but like if you really really know me then you know it's been rough but like if you just now like just now meeting me i'm just like oh yeah my childhood was good because you don't know me i'm not gonna just come out and tell you that like it was horrible because like i don't know you anywho but if y'all been rocking me ever since i started this new youtube channel and if y'all knew me ever since i had that other youtube channel on my mama page then let me tell y'all when i first got here <clears throat> a month ago and this whole month has been very rocky like um i have been like all these changes changes has been shaking me up and stuff that to the point where you know i that i was thinking that you know slow my road slow my road take deep breaths sometimes because you know sometimes i'd be having panic attacks and anxiety attacks and all this other stuff because adjusting and all these different changes can be hard especially when you was Especially if you like the if you got depression and anxiety like me, I got depression and anxiety. So adjusting to all these changes was a lot. What is a lot for me because I'm still healing and I'm still trying to cope with all this new stuff. I still got enough time to when I start thriving at this school. Because when I start thriving at this school, I'm telling y'all, I will be. So good and no, I will have no worries. Like if I do come with a problem. I will deal with it really good when I start thriving here. But right now, it's been very rocky. But I've been learning to cope with it and everything. At first, I didn't have a alarm on my thing because I could just wake up at 6 o'clock. It was not a big deal for me. But now, I have to start a alarm. So, because every other day, one like Monday, I have an 8 o'clock. And then Tuesday, I got 9.30. So, I, I got to you know get my good sleep in it's gonna be a little rocky but yeah my bedtime i don't really have a bedtime i just try to you know go to sleep before midnight basically even though that's been doing really really good for me lately emotionally i'm feeling good right now i'm feeling really good i like when i get new stuff especially when it just snacks or something like that I feel really good that I took off my nails because I really needed to get rid of them because they are super duper old and everything. Um, I feel really good even though my hair looks messed up. But lately, like I said, mentally, same thing mostly. I've been very, very rocky. It's been a very rocky month. And I hope that months and months that I do good because schooling can be a challenge if you... Especially me because I'm literally a freshman. I'm new to the stuff. I only been here in month, one month. So I gotta try to keep up with everything. And I'm new to this. I'm new to this learning style. I'm not used to this. So it's really, really crazy. And I can say like we be having exams test every week. Like that's how crazy it is. I'm not used to this type of learning. I'm not but I'm trying to cope all these different changes. I'm trying to develop and, you know, adjust to this because this is so new to me. 
that you know y'all but i'm i'm still thinking of like ooh, once once i um i can't even speak because it's so crazy this once i um find like some different stuff i do want to decorate my room a little bit more because once i get some money i do want to decorate it and all that type of stuff okay so that's another thing i like pink pink is my favorite color um, I also like a rainbow. Rainbow is my very close. I'm thinking of something that would correlate. I got like greens, purple, blue, orange, yellow. I got all of it. So that's all correlated with the colors and whatnot. So I'm thinking that once I get the chance to really decorate my room, I want to really go full out on my room. It might not be right away because y'all know, especially, it's not like an apartment or anything. It's, it's a dorm room, obviously. But like, it's the same thing as if you move in an apartment or a house. It's going to be empty for a while. You probably only have your bed and some little kitchen utensils and stuff. Kitchen utensils? What the hell? Some kitchen silverware and pots and pans or plates or something like that. But it's going to take you months to get, you know, all of that furniture. Especially if you, you know, just not ordinary. It don't, it, it's going to take a month or so because when you move in your house your house is not gonna be all done up. it might take six months it might take a whole year just for your house to look furnished or your apartment or your townhouse whatever you got condo whatever you know it's gonna take you a long time just like if you move in a dorm room it's gonna take you a long time to decorate and do everything what you want to with your room you see my background is so basic and plain in my room it took me a while to put those pictures up and everything to make them look good. But now, all I got to do, give me some money, order my stuff because I already know what I want. Um, And everything, because I got a lot of stuff. I need to buy some storage as well because they don't give you enough. They don't give you no storage in these dorms room. Let me just tell y'all that now. If y'all moving into college, different colleges are, like, college, different colleges are different, but, like, I'm just looking out the storage is not there like literally half of my stuff is still in suitcases because of the storage is not there and that's sad honestly at least i don't even have that much clothes i don't have that much clothes i don't got that much stuff i because i really don't have that much stuff and me thinking about buying more stuff it's like adding to it because like i don't got that much stuff compared to people that actually might have a lot of stuff and then it still can't fit half of my stuff. It's crazy. It's really wild. So, yeah, that's a lot to say about the storage in the room and how I'm going to decorate it and stuff like that. But it's only been a month. I'm still thinking of some stuff. I haven't, you know, got anything yet. I want to get something ordered to her because I'm not going to go to no store and get something decorated for my house. Me, it's a house my dorm room because i know that i'm walking and who wants to grab all them stuff <gasps> excuse me while walking come on be for real be for real because and i'm gonna get time for that so i'm gonna order it and yeah that's it i think that's pretty much i think i talked about i think i talked about everything that should be it i think but I think I talk about most of the stuff on my other rent video. But I love renting because I love talking to y'all. Like, y'all is literally, like, my best friend because... Let me tell you something. When I first started YouTube, like, not this channel, but, like, when I started... For, uh, when, I, uh, when I first started YouTube and all, the camera, like, has been my best friend because I have been so into with, like all that like for real so if y'all don't know some people just really just live on youtube like me i can't post youtube videos every day because my i just told y'all my schedule is full i gotta go to school this class this class a meeting a doctor's appointment um cheer practice dance practice and then i have to come home and then i have to take a shower that's not in that's not being in the way of nothing because your girl I love her hot good shower but I have to eat in between because everything and then I have to study 
And then I had to study out the all that I had to study. Then after I study, I had to try to memorize everything before the next day of class. Yeah. You tell me if that's gonna be easy. Because if it is, if you think that is, you go with it. But me personally, I kinda adjust to this because this ain't easy, especially off the bat. Okay. Once I start thriving, I'm telling y'all, for real, once I start thriving, this stuff going to come like a breeze. But right now, this school got me wrapped around in a knot. Not a pretty knot. Not a pretty little bow. The ugliest knot you can see. I'm telling you, for real. But this is the end of the video because I've been talking forever. Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe, like this video, share with your friends and family. Because if you like this and you think they gonna like it, share with them, please. Okay? I'm begging you. <laughs> subscribe to my channel. And if you want to get updated every time I upload a video so you won't miss nothing, like literally nothing, turn on that post, notification bell, uh, post notification bell. For real. Because why wouldn't you want to get updated every time? Every single time I upload a video. Why wouldn't you want to get updated? I'm just asking the question. Because it's pretty simple over here. Anywho. Um, I'll see y'all in the next video. Because I'm doing way too much right now. Y'all got like, girl, shut up. <laughs> I'll see y'all in the next video.